In this video, I am going to discuss threaded binary tree and why it is used. This is the part one of threaded binary tree. Uh, we know in linked list presentation of binary tree, consider the example, suppose A, B, C and D. Uh, when you represent uh, this binary tree using linked list, then we need to create node for every value, this A, and there is a left link and right link. This is a left pointer point to the node B. There is no child of B, so left pointer is null and right pointer is null. And next one is right pointer. This is a C. Here left pointer is uh, consists of D and D. Uh, left pointer is null, right pointer is null. And right, right pointer C is also null. Here this is the binary tree and this is linked list presentation of binary tree. Link list presentation number of node equal to here number of node number of nodes equal to one two three four number of links equal to number of links equal to one two three four five six uh, one two three four five six seven eight number of link equal to eight here use link use links equal to one two three and unused link mean which are pointed as null are news links equal to 1 2 3 4 5 that's mean half of the uh, link are wastage yeah this is suppose n is the number of node that's mean uh, use is n minus 1 and unused is n plus 1 half of the uh, link uh, is uh, unused which is pointed by null so remove to remove this to remove uh, this wastage or memory uh, we need special pointer special link known as thread known as known as thread and tree is known as tree is known as threaded binary tree both uh, the left link and right link are pointed by thread. What are the advantages? First advantage is better use of memory. Better use of memory. Second one is easy to find successor and predecessor in order to traversal and be faster without stack or recursion.